What's going on there, folks? Good evening. The Earthmaster here on this uh, beautiful Tuesday evening, March 15th, 2022, about uh, 7.30 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 4.6 earthquake on the Earthquake uh, 3D globe, right around the uh, Mediterranean Sea region, it looks like. Uh, looking at the latest quake activity here, USGS not reporting that movement yet. Uh, that was on the EMSC model, uh, so we'll have to see exactly where that's at. Kind of looks like it was around the uh, eastern part of the uh, Mediterranean Sea region. We'll get back to that here in just a second. Uh, seen uh, some earthquake movement out here, no doubt, over the last 24 hours, including the west coast and a bunch of earthquake activity down here into the Peru Chile Trench here, South America region. Seen quite a bit of activity over the last 24 hours with uh, quite a few deep earthquakes into the subduction zone here of the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the west coast activity. I'm going to drop you all magnitudes here. And let's see what's going on. See this little activity up here in Yellowstone? Yes, they are having a swarm. We'll get to that here in just a second. But uh, West Coast activity still remains elevated uh, throughout the uh, pretty much the entire state here, about Sacramento southward. Um, quite a bit of movement up and down the San Andreas Fault Zone, also into the Hayward and the Cal Calaveras Fault Zone. It looks like a little bit of activity on the Pleasanton Fault as well. Um, Maybe actually the southern end of the Calaveras Fault Zone uh, around the San Jose area, seeing some movement. But uh, there's that general activity around the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault here. We've seen a little separate swarm here off of it near Watsonville. Uh, a couple small microquakes there off to the west side. And uh, a bunch of activity down south here as well, including a uh, recent quake here of a 2.1 near Campo, California. South, or, uh, yeah, south of the border here. Uh, a couple other twos off to the east and uh, some movement up and down the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, swarming at Salton Sea looks minimal. I don't see a whole lot of activity there today. Uh, Ridgecrest area getting in on quite a few earthquakes with some uh, twos and some smaller quakes out there as well. And up here around the Alamo area, we got uh, some earthquake activity continuing there today as well. Uh, I want to jump up here to the Yellowstone movement real quick. The USGS showing a, a pretty good swarm of activity on the uh, just north of the Yellowstone Lake area. Uh, quite a few uh, small microquakes. Looks like the largest was a 2.9 in this cluster of earthquake activity. Uh, now we can see this pretty well on the Yellowstone overview. This just happened here within the last few hours right over the Lake Yellowstone region. Of course these guys on the USGS map have it situated right about here uh, in between these two stations. But Borehole picks it up pretty nicely. There is the uh, 2.6, right? Two, uh, let's see what that was. Hold on a second here. What was that? 2.9. That's right, a 2.9. That's a pretty good sized quake there in that region. So that's kind of what the uh, 2.9 shows up as right here on this map. Uh, occurring uh, just a, looks like a few hours ago. And there's definitely a, a kicked off a pretty good amount of earthquake activity following that 2.9. There's a pretty good amount of swarming going on here. A lot more than the uh, uh, than the USGS here is showing on this all-day magnitude map. These guys showing about uh, seven earthquakes or so following that 2.9 in Yellowstone. But uh, there's definitely a quite a bit more, as you can see here on this map. This is 2.9, and hidden in there, there's quite a few other uh, microquakes within that seismic range there. Also over here as well. Uh, just a pretty good uptick, a lot more than eight. So we're going to watch this pretty closely. Uh, we'll see if these swarms uh, want to kick up into something major or not. Uh, Yellowstone swarms do occur throughout the year, but it's been, uh, I don't know, we had a little, little kick up here last month into February, a little bit of uh, earthquake swarming around the same region, but uh, uh, definitely not unheard of for Yellowstone to have swarms, but we will continue to watch it closely as uh it's pretty cool to watch definitely they're at the super volcano pacific northwest relatively quiet not a whole lot going on in the earthquake department the trimmer map tonight let's go ahead and check this out here on the latest trimmer and there is none zip zero we've lost the trimmer uh after about eight days of trimmer activity uh in various portions of the cascadia subduction zone mostly in the southern end northern california and oregon uh, but today, nothing. Zero epicenters being recorded uh, by the PNSN network. Uh, eastern part of the country, low activity, or at least in the southern plains, some movement throughout Texas. 
Some of that uh, is from older, uh, older movement from last night and this morning. And uh, the activity around the New Madrid, New Madrid zone dropping off. Uh, they did have a 1.2 from earlier today. Uh, what do we got out here in the big island of Hawaii? All magnitudes map here only showing about 21 earthquakes around the southeast flank area. And uh, nothing major going on at any of the volcanoes. Of course, Kilauea still doing its thing as it's uh, keeping its uh, lava or uh, uh, eruption phase into the crater, into the little lava lake there. So nothing major going on as far as any major cha uh, changes go there on the uh, big island. Latest earthquake here on the USGS globe showing up around the Japan Trench just offshore of Tokyo. A little bit of activity up here uh, earlier as well. 4.3 into the uh, northern end of the Japan Trench. Mariana Trench looks pretty quiet today. A little bit of activity on the west side and the areas where they've seen the 6.4 now a couple days ago. Still seeing some uh, pretty good swarming of aftershock sequences there in the 5 range. Uh, just to the west side of the Philippines there. Also down here along the northern end of the Java Trench. Seeing uh, some further movement where they seen the 6.7 on the same day as the 6.4 a couple days ago. So aftershock sequences continuing in that region as well. A 4.3 near the Banda Sea. Uh, looking over here towards the, the uh, Tonga area and the Kermadec Trench. A couple fives kicking off there somewhat deep. This one up here uh, into the Fiji region, south of Fiji, 547 kilometers. Pretty deep movement there for that 4.9. Uh, USGS not showing that activity yet on the uh, Mediterranean region. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull up the EMSC model real quick and uh, see if we can figure out what that earthquake was and where it was located at here on the map. It was a 4.6. Kind of looks like in the eastern Mediterranean Sea region around Crete, Greece area. Depth right now at zero kilometers. It has not been reviewed by a seismologist though. So this could get upgraded, could get downgraded. It all depends. But uh, hey, at least they're reporting it, right? That is a good thing. Uh, what else we got here for movement? Uh, let's see here. Solar weather, I believe we're... Man, I just... I've been out storm chasing all, all day today, folks. Uh, had some uh, pretty good thunderstorms pop up here in Northern California. And uh, just coming down from the adrenaline rush, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Uh, had some uh, pretty, some good sized hail and some heavy downpours here in Northern California over uh, an area around the Willows in Northern California that uh, produced quite a bit of uh, lightning as well. And quite a bit of rotation with some of the thunderstorms. Uh, solar activity we did have uh, earlier today. Looks like a uh, another M flare, a 1.5. So that makes three M flares within the last four hours. Uh, looks like it's still coming from the uh, 2965 sunspot up here. 2965. Uh, doesn't look, look all spectacular, but uh, hey, it's, it's definitely producing some uh, some flaring. A little bit of activity working its way back behind it, and maybe a new region popping up here as well. Uh, let's see what we got for the forecast. All, it looks green for now, but this can subject to change, right? Uh, this can change in a blink of an eye. Green across the board over the next couple nights. The risk of flares continue, 65% chance. M flare at 20, um, and X flare around 5% chance. So we'll see what this uh, sunspot wants to do here. But for right now, conditions uh, uh, in the KP index there, only around, looks like two to three. But uh, not calling for any major geomagnetic storms tonight or over the next couple nights here. So we will keep an eye on it for sure. But uh, let's see, what else we got? Anything major going on um, in the Canada region? I don't believe so, right? Let's see what we got. Uh, low activity. Look at this earthquake up here. This is that New York uh, earthquake that struck earlier. These guys, uh, what's their magnitude? 3.1, I believe the USGS had this as a, uh, what is that, 2.6 uh, in the uh, Warsaw, New York region, 1511 UTC time, and uh, let's see here, 1511, yep, so these guys are reporting a little bit stronger of a quake for that New York zone, that's from the uh, Earthquakes Canada folks. And uh, let's see what else we got. A little bit of activity where that 4.3 struck here in the Fort St. John area a couple days ago. 
Looks like a couple aftershocks today, including a uh, a 3.3 and a little one within the last hour, 1.9. So a little activity taking place up here through Canada. Uh, one earthquake up here in the Northwest Territories, a 3.5. Uh, let's see what else we got. I was hoping the USGS would report that earthquake. Hey, look at that. They did a 4.6 they are reporting around the Crete region uh, at 6.8 kilometers. So, hey, it took them a little while, but hey, at least they're getting on to it, right? All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Enjoy the evening. Uh, stay safe. We will chat you guys another time. Make sure you subscribe and click that uh, notification bell. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out, everyone.